Hello everybody! My name is Nico Bellic and welcome to my adventures in Liberty City. In the last episode, I went and killed Derek McCreary because you lot told me to. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And I also discovered that riding a motorcycle on the Underground Railway is not a very good idea. Now I'm going to go speak to Ray. They're definitely not getting any better, guys. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, dick. It's not my fault you got robbed. It's not my fault. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. You understand? I'm on a cell phone, you jerk. Oh, you want me killed? Oh, yeah? Screw you! I know what you want. You understand? Finish. No, no, you know what? I ain't even started yet, you demon fuck! I'm in shit because of you, you piece of Hello? Hello? Uh, ah! Go ahead! Open your mouth, asshole! Push your fucking luck! Ray! What the fuck do you want? You told me to come. Well, sorry! Having a bad fucking day! Oh, I'm sorry. Me too. Fuck it. Fuck it. That curly head. We just gonna talk! Go shut that stooge up! Shut who up? Isaac! The diamond dealer! Blaming me for everything! Everything! Even the shit we didn't do! No, I got no money, no diamonds, and his dick's threatening to have me killed! Blaming me, cause he got robbed! Okay, so? He's holed up in the Majestic with a couple of his cronies! Go shut those fuckers up! No problem! Hey! Can I get a coffee, please? Oh, you weren't talking to me. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I keep getting the impression I've done this mission already before on the stream, but I think I'm confusing it with my, uh... with my playthrough. My, my yearly playthrough. Right, how is the volume for everybody? Because it's, uh, obviously a little loud in my ear, but how is it for everyone else? Is the volume balance okay? Is it nice? I've decided, you know, to hell with, um... You know, content ID matches. If that's literally the worst my channel's going to go through, then fuck it. You know, I must well just have a little bit of the radio one. You know, just have a just have a, a little bit of fun. You know, why not? Well, what I will do is just quickly turn down my TV volume because it is a little loud in my ear, and if I need to speak over the top of the game, that means I'm going to speak rather loudly. Okay, there we go. Uh, seems fine to me. Super duper. Okay, thanks Casey. Thanks Jeffrey. Always appreciate the feedback. Why have I stopped? Oh yeah. Because I'm at a fucking junction, aren't I? The Daily Globe. Well, I just like, you know, just sitting in a taxi. Fine words. Just sitting in a taxi and having a little look round, but... Let's get a move on, shall we? <laughs> Yeah, because uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, I, I've probably mentioned this before, but I have a really terrible short-term memory. It's a... Uh, it's quite a quiet game, so you've got to uh, raise the volume a little bit. So I'm hoping it's fine and that my, uh, uh, that my voice isn't overpowering the game itself. I did try to um, up the volume a little bit. So I remember... Well, I realised after last time... Uh, two weeks ago on the last stream... I think it was when we did after the uh, the comedy club. Uh, I turned the um, uh, the volume back up, but it turns out I didn't turn it up loud enough. How about that? All right, here we go. I've got some uh, armor. Got plenty of ammo. Don't have to worry about that. Let's get going. And that's a really good loading screen, by the way. Wasn't long enough because uh, <laughs> one of the uh, bellboy trolleys. You're not welcome here. Yeah, that is racist. A little bit of flashing going on there, guys. I apologise for that. I think that was just more the game's textures. Anyway, well, let's uh, let's cause some carnage, shall we? Uh, not like that. Excuse me. Oh, you guys know this is happening. Oh, boom! That was something else. And they're still alive! Hey up, Bomini, how are you doing, mate? 
good to see you in my stream for once. Whoop, there we go. Right in the head. Like a bullet in the head! So this is why I'm glad I turn auto-aim off, because you can just, well, aim wherever the hell you want. It's fine. It makes headshots that much easier. Right, let's go upstairs. Ah, right, Bowman, what's your, uh, what's your experience with GTA 4? Oh, okay, you love it. <laughs> uh, preemptively answered my question. I've got a lot of love for GTA 4. Yeah, and I say it without hyperbole or anything like that, but it is my favourite 3D GTA. A lot of people do disagree with me, and they're more than right to, you know, to do that. I realise that Grand Theft Auto 4 took a quite a radical departure from the, uh, from what this series had built up already, but it's still a playable game. It's not horrible, so that's my opinion of it. Right, let's shoot that. No, I want the door open. No, fuck, poxy door. I cannot shoot because door is in the way. I want that lamp out of the way. There we go. Interior redecoration. We got some music going on as well. I have no idea what this song is. Well, excuse me, madam. Or mate, excuse me. Oh yeah, I remember this mission now. There's a good chance that I might die on it first time. Hopefully that's not going to be the case, but it might happen. Pop your head out, you get a bullet in the eyeball. Pretty much a rule, really. Yeah, I heard about that as well, Casey. That's, uh, that's, re that's actually quite sad. I don't know. A lot of good people are dying at the moment, it seems. Shut up. Nico Bellic is the man. He is indeed. It has it. Actually, really does have a good story. I pref I do like this story a lot compared to uh, 3, Vice City and um, San Andreas. Bye! So the game automatically locked onto him, and I was like, no, I want to freely aim for his head. Why wouldn't you let me do that? Right. And it comes a part that I'm not going to get on well with. Normally I would try to just go... Would just try to go for headshots, but... This is a particular mission where you don't really want to fuck about. Let me run over there, because that looks a lot safer than that wall. <sighs> right, okay. That was actually quite intense. Do -do 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 -do. You right, John? How you doing, mate? Uh, what in God's name do you think you're doing? Did I say you could walk? Well, you weren't really walking, but... Oh, wait, oh what's going on over there? Boom! Headshot! Wait for it. Got him. Well, I think we're okay now. Um, and now I need to escape from somewhere around the hotel. I don't know if there's any police officers in the building yet, because if there's not, then I can quickly... Oh, hello. You weren't meant to stay alive. Okay, there we go, right. If there's no police officers in the hotel, just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on one second, day. Eh? Boom. There we go. Right, got some armour. That's going to help. I did see the health down below, so if I just quickly run downstairs and get that. Whoa, never mind. Uh, I weren't here. Right, then there is got to be some way of escaping off the top of the, uh, the hotel. 
I'm sure there's a cleaning platform around somewhere. Yes, there it is. It's over there. Don't think it's going to be too easy to get away. Do 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 do. <laughs> Alright. You guys just seem to be enjoying talking amongst yourselves, and that's absolutely fine. Alright, let me just stop the platform here for a second. I want to make sure that I'm safe. There we are. Let's keep going down. See, there's a copper just around there. Let's go through this gate. 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 Can you gate, please? Bum, 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 bum. So you don't get to hear the um, uh, the congratulat congratulatory uh, jingles when um, you have the music off. Which is a shame, really, because there really should have been a separate uh, volume setting for radio and one for normal in-game music. Right. Got the mission sorted out, so that's fine. That's done and dusted. I just need to escape from the police. Oh, hang on. No, this is not a good time. This really is not a good time to phone. Sorry, guys. Uh, that was what... That was, um... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's what the um, conversation was. I shut Isaac up for you. I feel like I've been shutting people up ever since this demon thing started. That's pretty much the conversation that would have been had. Right. I know I didn't spend too much, uh, too long on it, but that's the beauty of uh, streaming on YouTube. Is if you really, really need to read it, you can just go back quickly, ten seconds, and. Uh, Pause it and then have a quick read and then come back. I mean, I'm not going to be going anywhere for the next two minutes probably, so I need to escape from the police in a bloody big hurry. Oh, and I'm out. Oh, hang on about. No. One of the. Um... Yeah, that's nice. One of the advantages of actually keeping Francis McCreary alive. Well, hang about, where's the. I've set something up. Call me if you're getting a little heat from my cop buddies and I'll see what I can do. In other words, you should... Fuck! I got shot while I was on the phone. That is rude! Yeah, he should be able to help with the police. That's what he says anyway. Okay, why don't I just get into a bloody car? Nico kind of made that longer than it needed to be. I know I could just escape the police, but I kind of want to get away in a hurry. There's a police officer on a motorbike. I've never seen that before. Okay, there we are. Thank you very much, Francis. Much appreciated. Right, now I need to find myself a nice health-saving, health health-regenerating chicken burger. Let's get rid of my guns. I'll be with you guys in just a second. What are you waiting for? Throw it. To some photo called Talbot. Talbot Daniels over in a triangle. He's into me for about 10 G's and he says he might know something about Florian Kravich. Florian? Your days of searching are over, my friend. This guy should point you in the right direction. Mmm. Weekend at Florian's. Hi, welcome to Cooking Bell. What can just I so you know, you guys totally didn't just see that mission name a few weeks ago on my save list.
Cheers, love. <laughs> hey, Roman, can you do me a favor? Anything for you, cousin. Just name it. You want some women? I met this. He's not that. I'm coming to collect you from the apartment. Wait for me there. Let's go pick up Roman in the classiest vehicle that I can find. A bus. Obviously. I could just take a taxi to get to him. Is he still on Angonquin at the minute? Yes, he's just up the road. Let's a go time! Ooh, got ourselves a bit of jazz going on. Jazz Nation Radio, I think that stands for, JNR. But why am I in trouble with the police for? Bogwan! You know, to quote Fawn on Blondes, What's going on? There we go, right now, Roman should just be straight up the road. Hopefully, I may be able to avoid the police by then, because I don't want to get in trouble with the police. I'm a good boy. Cool beans. Uh, do, 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 do. What do you mean you ran over someone? I did not, Jeffrey. That is a lie. That's scandalous slander. That is. <laughs> I might have done actually. Right, Rome should be too far away now. Whoa, 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 I definitely do not want to knock into that police car. Excuse me, I'm a motherfucking bus. I right, remember should just be down the road now. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Roman, get in my bus. That is not innuendo. Yes, here I am. I'm in a bus. <laughs> Come on, we get in. There we go. Right, let's get going. Right, let's go see Mr. Talbot. Whoa, what the hell made my bus's rear end rise? I have found Gordy the Grinch. There's a man called Talbot Daniels who will lead us to Talbot? I know him from some of the card games I play. So, we're finally going to kill Glory and Ravage. Yes. Finally. You know, if this fucks up, the bad shit's coming down on my head. What do you mean? I mean, you fuck up and I take this shit. You kill the wrong guy. His friends will fuck with me. They get to you. I didn't have no scars until you arrived. Now I am practically chopping board to have so many cuts on me. You are a rich chopping board. Worry for you, MP. Sometimes you just gotta let the hate go. Let it go. Let it go. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I fucking hate that film. Alright, what are we looking at? Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, you weren't expected to Boma. Uh, excuse me, you weren't expected to Boma to join you, were you? Um, don't know. Probably. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. I'm a motherfucking bus. <laughs> Thanks, Jeffrey. <laughs> There we go. I haven't run him over. There he is. Let's go talk to him. He's always at the games being held around Algonquin. Not too good either. I don't think I've seen him win a hand. Hey, I hear you know Florian Kravich. Where is he? Florian Kravich? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been head to head with this guy a few times, NB. I know his tells. He's lying. Roman, what's this about? He doesn't act well under pressure, NB. Beat him a little. All right, already. There's a guy I know, likes to be called Floyd Kravik at um, certain moments. Lives uptown somewhere. Show me. 
Get a four-door car. I could do better than that. I can get a four-door bus. Hello? All right. Ah, oh. game pressures you on, doesn't it? Get in and don't try anything stupid, Talbot. Let's get going. Right, we don't have the um. Where is he? Why aren't we there yet? Okay, um, if I'm right, Bernie's place is somewhere. Yeah, because we don't actually know where it is. We can't use the GPS, so we have to rely on Talbot. Sort of like the uh, direction um, mechanic in L.A. Noir. Right oh, you one. son of a bitch! Do you mean right here or right the next right? Because you just told me right as we passed the right. Masaga, ite kudasai? Or is it Masaga? I think it's Masaga. Basically, keep on going. Or go straight. Please go on straight. I will break a bottle over your head. <laughs> my apologies, Boma. Uh, my, my streams tend to be a bit mature. <laughs> Especially with some of the stuff that comes out of my mouth. Oh, there's a copper. I'm a bus carrying a single passenger. Um, I'm pretty sure it's There's right only here. a right turn here. The fuck's wrong with you? This is it. This is Bernie's place. Are you going to Maybe. Oh. Oh, that's okay. I'm done with Florian. He will be begging and the die. police car Ed just disappeared. Friend can look forward to. Get out of here now. You've done your job. And I see what you guys are doing. Du -du -du -du. Uh, he says most people on YouTube do YouTube, so I try to check out people's channels. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Come, Florian, on the thumbs book, David Durkajior, at Vori. Florian, I've come for you, Florian. Oh, go away. Yesitoti. Nico? What the hell are you doing here? What happened to you? Oh, I started working out. You know, toned up the... Uh... Florian? You used to work in the abattoir? Oh, don't remind me. Roman? You put on a few vanity pounds. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Why did you kick my door down? I've come oh. to ask you some questions. It wasn't you, was it? What was it, me? Who set us up? It was you or Darko! I thought it must be him! Oh my god! You think it was me? That's why you are here! You've come to kill me! Well, screw you, Nico Bellic and Fatty Roman! It wasn't me, it wasn't! I wouldn't do that! <sighs> Can I stop with the fat jokes, Florian? It's Bernie now. After I came here, I wanted a complete change, so I became Bernie Crane. I'm sorry about the fat thing. You're still kind of cute. <laughs> Gee, thanks. What are you doing here? Well, I'm a lifestyle coach, and I teach an aerobics class, and I'm in love. He's married. It's so doomed. And he's in politics. Oh, he's the deputy mayor. <laughs> Bryce Dawkins? But he's so at the family values. Oh, uh, that's just politics. Where is Darko? Dead, I hope. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I heard he was still in Europe or Switzerland or somewhere. But then I heard that you had joined the circus, so information can be unreliable. We have to find him. We have to find him. 
I think he's a bit freaked out. I guess he thought seeing you would answer some questions. So I see. Well, it's great to see you guys. We must do brunch. Sure. See you later, Florian. Bernie! So, Florian has changed? Yes. He's moved on from what happened to you. You should have moved on too. What are you going to do? He may not be here in Liberty City, but he's still out there. I will find out where Darko Brevich is, and I will make him answer for his actions. We know now that it was him. I need to be alone now, Roman. Sure. I'll see you later then. Call me, okay? Well, Nico didn't get what he was looking for. And one thing I actually like about um, about Bernie. Hang on a second, guys. Nicky, you like him? He wasn't the one I was looking for. Too bad, Chich. I did what I could. You did, Rain. That's all anyone could have asked of you. Now, one thing I like about Bernie Crane is during that uh, last cutscene, you you could. You, you know, obviously you could hear that he had quite a, um, a high, effeminate um, uh, v uh, voice. But there was a couple of instances where it fucking dropped. And he became very deep, uh, deep voiced. And what I read on the, uh, the GTA wiki, that was actually his, actu that's his actual voice. And he puts on the effeminate voice. Or, or something to that effect anyway. Right, okay. I think this guy's coming back for his car. I, yeah, he wants his car back. Oh, well, you're just going to stand there then. Oh, no, here he comes. Here he comes. We're going to... Oh, no. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, we're still in the area. <laughs> in fact, we're, we're still, still right there. Let's do a Bernie mission, why not? It's, it's really weird, I did one playthrough where I didn't do any of the Bernie missions whatsoever and I still progressed through the game and finished it. And then there was another playthrough where I attempted to do the same thing and the game wouldn't let me carry on until I did Bernie missions. I was like, okay, you can't make up your mind then, can you game? <coughs> Excuse me. Florian, open the door. Nemo Decipede. Go for Ingeski. And I told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie opened the door. What's going on? Come in. Come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? I came to this country to be myself. To get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks! Oh, like me? Yes! Well, no. Uh, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Nice. Rice found some gray hairs. If he leaves, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing Ultimate Disc, some guy comes What the hell is Ultimate me. Disc? He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because... Uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. <laughs> what? I keep thinking I'm being followed and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home! Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. Ooh, I'm so glad you've come back into my life. That's cool. But listen, you and I don't know each other. How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. Oh. Alright, Bernie, mate. Take, take it easy, mate. I'll probably catch you on a later stream of yours, so... Ciao! Off to Central Park we go. Nico, you're still in great shape. You work out? For real. I keep back, you know. The 
Is there a name for that fitness plan? I'd take a class if I could be guaranteed buns like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being errand boy for the mob. Ah. Sounds like a fine exercise regime. Right. Middle park. No, it's not. It's just around the corner. That's fine. Don't just take a taxi to get over there. No, it's the John Hunter show. Oh. God. Gosh. Gosh. Darn and blast it. <laughs> yes, Bernie. The police. Don't worry about it. I've had experience of running away from the police and running over the police. Ice cream van! No, I can't. Can't go and grab an ice cream right now. Uh, hopefully that police car won't turn. It won't turn. Please don't turn. And if I can just hang up, hang about in here. Oh god, this is really a rock and hard place, isn't it? There we go. Right, I need to be careful in regards to running people over because I'm not playing a certain game that I was playing this morning. So I need to uh, readjust myself and remember that I'm playing Grand Theft Auto where there are actual police. <laughs> Whereas on this other game, you know, the killing of pedestrians is encouraged. I think you guys can probably guess what that game might be. <laughs> Especially if you looked at my Twitter this morning. Now I've got about 600 YouTube notifications on Chrome. Thanks. You're going for a jog, Nico. Try to keep up and stay back too. We don't want to be rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, have I got a baseball bat at least? There we go. And let me double check that I know how to. Okay, there we go. I think. I think. So, officer, I'm not chasing that guy with a baseball bat in my hand. It's perfectly fine. Okay, there we go. Right. I just wanted to make sure I knew what the attack button was. Now hopefully, I can actually do this mission in one. Because I've actually... F tail, no, I'm good, thanks, Bernie. <laughs> I have uh, failed this mission once before. And it was kind of embarrassing, because it's technically an easy mission. On, slow, there we go, right, he's entering the tunnel now. This is where shit gets real. Someone who'll fight back. What's your problem, fag lover? Whatever you say, buddy. Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out <laughs> of you. I love Nico's like body language as he talks like that. We're gonna take down the hater. S w w somehow without falling over. And now I remember why I failed the mission before. It's not just a case of taking him out on the park. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's Brucey on the fucking radio. I fucking hate mopeds. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. God damn it. Right, okay, I think we got ourselves straight now. Okay, right, there he is, it's fine. Oh, why does he insist on going into the bloody park? Oh, see, this is why I failed the mission now. This poxy fucking moped. Now 
there searching for his killer. At the Majestic Hotel, I'm Jenny Acorn, Weasel News. The city council has voted to build the sweet. I do like listening to their news programs because they uh, report on the uh, previous missions that you've just done, on likely the uh, uh, most recent mission. So I actually think that's a really good touch. And this fucker's getting on my nerves now. I remember why I hate this mission so much and why I didn't quite go for the Bernie mission straight away. With you guys in just a second if I can ever see where I'm going. Okay, right. There we go. Right, got me, uh, got me gun up. Alright. Let's see if I can just line up fine. There we go. Right, now it's... Oh, I thought he fell off his bike. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, all right, then that did it then. Hey, let's change the station a bit, shall we? Let's put it onto integrity. Let's put over. Oh, we're still. Catch him, Nico! This man has haunted my dreams for weeks. I'll do my best. They don't call it beauty sleep for nothing. I tell you, I don't look fabulous when I'm waking up with cold sweats at all hours of the night. No, sorry. You think I look like this when I get up in the morning? I don't know. It takes hours of plucking and buffing before I can even bear to look at myself. Sometimes I think it's a godsend that Bryce has to go back to his wife for the night instead of sleeping with me. Let's just get this guy. Okay, okay, get him. Get him. He's losing you, Nico. That's because I'm on a shitty moped. <laughs> Alright, we'll get to him soon enough. At least we're not in bloody park. Oh, that was too close. At least we're not in the bloody middle park now where he can just run rings around the whole thing. Alright, we'll get to him soon enough. I'm not letting him get away. I do like listening to a bit of Laszlo. Never actually listened to any... Shut up. Shut up, Vernon. <laughs> Never actually um, listened to any of Laszlo's actual radio shows before. I've uh, been meaning to, but I just never get round to it. Never listened to the actual Laszlo show. Be with you guys pretty much as soon as I possibly can. This guy's kind of making it... Uh, more difficult than it probably should be. Oh, hit the lamppost. That's something, right? Don't you worry about a thing, Bernie. Whoa. Damn you. I'm here to interview the star of this, uh, whatever you're right, now I can't see what I'm doing because the police are here. Whoa, 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 I'm on a moped here, guys. <laughs> Ease up a little bit. There we go. I'm, I'm willingly killing, shooting somebody in front of three police cars. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, that, that, that hurt. Sorry, officers. I, I've got business to intend to first. No, don't fall back. It's right. Get out of the way! Bloody homeless people falling in front of me! There we are. Now he's dead. I don't know why I'm phoning bloody Phil Bell. Right, let's get Francis. Come on, Francis, help me out here. Uh, do, 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 do. No, MJ. Uh, no, Mark, not Marika. Oh, God damn it! How motorbikes have radios in the game, yeah. This, this is not good. This ain't good. I'm, I'm gonna fail this mission. Just putting it out there. <laughs> Bernie, get on. For the love of God. Oh! 
I knew he wasn't gonna get on too quickly. Damn it! Well, that's a mission I'm gonna have to finish in my spare time then. Hating the haters? Nah. Ugh, oh, that mission was a pain in the ass to do again. Alright, let's go see... Phil Bell, let's see what he's got in store for us. And let's get in a taxi, because it's bloody raining. Motorbikes have radios because of um, 25th technology, 25th century technology, yes. That's my reason I'm sticking to it. Uh huh? That thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. <laughs> what about them swings? How's Molly? The kids? News. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's out. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we can talk, as long as you don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat. No, the guy with the, you know, the... but the beep, but the poop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours. Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just ask her. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in touch, Nikki. Sure you will. I, d I do like the fact that Nico was just like, sure, but you know what? It's going to cost you a bit of money, you know what I mean, mate? I ain't going to be cheap. And Phil's like, yeah, sure, no problem. No worries. Whatever. Well, I have absolutely no idea what song this is at the minute. Uh, phone book. Let's get Laszlo to spot the song that's going on. I always enjoy listening to the radio in this game. So, yeah, I've certainly got a much better selection of songs than um, uh, Grand Theft Auto V, that's for sure. Although, not better than Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Oh, it's Iggy Pop! Ah, oh, okay. Didn't realise that. Well, it was anyway. That must mean I'm on Liberty Rock Radio. Right, how far do we need to go? How far away is it? Um. Hmm, it's a bit of a wait. Oh, it still is Iggy Pop. Boom! Watch him fly. Sorry, guys, those are the rules. Oh, great. Why don't the police ever just leave me alone? Seriously, I don't do anything wrong. I'm a good law abiding citizen. You know, I help contribute to the community. You know, I, I'm quite the social player. Uh, 
Let's just wait for the, uh, there we go. I have absolutely no idea what you were talking about there, mate. Alright, see you later, Jeff. Oh, shit, nearly ran over. Nearly got run over. See you later, Jeff. We take it easy, mate. What the? Uh, okay, the taxi driver's having a bit of a moment there. Now, ideally, what they want you to do is just go straight to the truck, but you got you fight your way through the um, through that lot first. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheese the mission ever so slightly. We're going to climb up here and just hang for a little while for some reason. Well done, Nico. Go up this ladder. We're going to climb along the top of the uh, going to climb along the top of the building and avoid them all. And by the time you get to the um, the truck's uh, vicinity, it will start to drive off. But that's the whole point of the mission anyway. Because that's what's going to happen. Regardless. Get up, Nico. Get up. Thank you. Oh, only just right. Now we've got to chase this truck to the back. <clears throat> no way, we'll get there in time. Oh, I avoided, uh, avoided that little shootout. Come back here with that yes, come back. It's mine. All mine. Yeah, he won't stop for the red lights. There we go, and boom. Now we've got to do a bit of track and field here. There we go. Right. This could really hurt. Yeah, yeah. You got to hold L down to hang on to the coins. I was holding X to hold down. And now we're going to get to the front. Dave, try it, truck driver! Oh, hopefully I can make it to the front before he makes it to that corner. Come on! Nope. Just about good. Oh, no, that's automatic. Fantastic. And in your face. This heroin is cursed. You don't fucking want it. It's a shame he couldn't steal the, um... It's a shame we couldn't steal the truck like what the Terminator did. You know, he just simply gets and he goes, get out. Yeah, all right. I want to make sure I get my grenades out because, you know, call me paranoid if you like. Although I don't think that's now necessary. That's fine. Cool. Right, we're in a little safe area now. We'll be with you guys in just a second. Just up the road here. Never, never feel too comfortable driving on the grass. Because all oh, that things like that can nearly happen. Hello, Tarks. How are you doing, mate? Welcome to my stream. Did Nico close an imaginary door? Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Ah, 
Uh, how is everybody streaming right now? Just, just, just because, maybe? <laughs> Ooh, a motorbike. I'll take it. Even though it's probably not mine, but then again, that hasn't stopped me the entirety of the game. Right, I need to get myself some health and some armor. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something. Hopefully, you'll look after him. Nico, you're looking for more work. I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the pay phone on the corner of Matulo and Hardtack. No coin. Let me just check my volume second settings for a sec, guys. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I thought it sounded a bit weird. There we go. Actually, let's turn down the music just once. There we go. Right. Don't want to. Don't want to fucking dick about. So I don't have that much health left, and I get the feeling one more collision with the tar that's going to end up with a dead Nico. Yeah, let's put our gun away because we don't want to walk into a burger shop with our gun out. What's the sound of that girl's t-shirt? Hang about. Uh, backside skateboards. Oh, boring. <laughs> oh, someone wants to call. Nico, I told Jimmy T about you. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah, he's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead in Westside. Hi, welcome to Burger Chot. How can I help you? I do like that the girl behind the counter was rather considerate yes. of the fact that I was on the phone. She waited until I finished to st uh, to, to serve me. That's really considerate. Oh, please don't crash. Oh, thank goodness for that. Uh, I want to watch them all, but it's so hard. I I totally get that, Tarks, because... It's like normally... I, I can normally manage about two streams at once, sort of have them both on a mid-volume. Oh, it's a bit dark. And then that was the game adjusting to its own light. Right, let, we need to get some armor. I'm hoping there's a shop nearby. Uh, yeah, this is the guy that uh, Phil was talking about, who I operates on an outside line. It's an assassin mission, and it's a throwback to the uh, original uh, GCAs, because you have to answer on a payphone. Right, if I can get... Oh, what did I do wrong with Packy? Oh, that's a bummer. I assume he wanted to go out and have some fun, and I was just like, No, Packy, I am doing some work. I don't think we're too far. Oh, we're still quite some. Are we still some distance away? Oh, oh fuck that noise. I'm going to get a taxi. I always recognise this area, so I seem to remember it as being part of Koreatown. Although it's clearly not. Hello, United Liberty Paper. Looking forward to it. <laughs> right, let's get to our weapons shop, get some armor, and we can start on our next mission. A little late, tell me that now, mate. I've been making it go up and down the entire journey. We sell quality weapons, and we know how to use them. Did he cut himself off at the right towards the edge at the end of the sentence? Have a good day, sir. We have quality weapons, we know how to use... Oh, it's Nico. <laughs> hey, Nico. Oh, hang about, there's a... Oh, yeah, that's the uh, assassination mission. No, I don't want to steal the taxi! Car, oh, well, we got ourselves a scared passenger, so let's have some fun with him. Uh, let's go and see Jimmy, Jimmy Pegarino. Let's find out 
what he's got in store for us, even though I know, but... I'm not sure if Patrick actually wants something or if he actually just wants to go out bowling. Oh, okay, so no thumbs down, so... Oh, I've still got another mission. Uh, mission. Boom! This guy seems to be okay with the fact that I'm being a kind of makeshift taxi driver. He's not screaming or anything. I, I, I don't like having passengers that seem to be okay with the fact that I've just stolen a car and I'm going crazy with it. This isn't Rogue Trip 2012, you know. <laughs> or Crazy Taxi, for that matter. I mistook circle for the handbrake. <laughs> That's why I went into action cam! Let's try and action cam it all the way there, actually. That might be fun. Oh, nope. There we go. And, and Laszlo's on the edge, apparently. Oh, satellite cam. <laughs> World's scariest police chases. Uh, we're, we're currently watching him, and he's uh, he's arrived at Jimmy Pegarino's house. Need a little bit of a helicopter there. I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. Spear. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. No, I'm Nico. Why do people keep calling hey, me Nick? What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. So maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm going to ask you to deal with a problem. And you're going to deal with it. Or you're not going to deal with it, and you're going to be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me, I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss, where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. See, them and the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray like it back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak hey, with hey, Pegorino. What, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss. Salve. Shut up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this 
because I care. You boys have fun. Right, this game, Pegamino's car. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, you uh, missed me spectacularly failing a mission on a moped. This is on this way. Nico, right? Skipper said you'd be driving. The sit down's over at the old refinery in the after industrial park. This little conversation that's going to happen in the car is so funny. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Just going to turn off the radar so we can hear it better. You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses would be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Pavanos wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offer, though, Skip. They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that. God, give me strength. It's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. Pavanos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask of them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! <laughs> it seems that Jimmy Pegrino has angry, a anger issues and he seems to employ sycophants <laughs> for, uh, bodyguards and goons. Now, I'm not overly keen on this mission because there's usually a 50 50 chance I'll fail it on the first attempt. Which ain't gonna be good. <laughs> but hopefully. Rifle, Marco. You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Well, we're definitely gonna get a shootout in a bit, Eric. That's for darn sure. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. Right, here we go. Now hopefully, if I get far enough into this mission, I may be able to take advantage of a, uh, a nice uh, nifty... Well, I suppose shortcut is probably... It might be the right word, but sort of a... Uh, a way around it so I don't have to battle so much. Much like what I did with the uh, uh, the Chinese mission just now with the uh, the truck. In the meantime, let's snipe. Time for a bang bang shooting feast, you down right. I thought he was stuck on the car, that guy. Alright guys, come on. Get, get yourself sorted and let's get this over with. Oh, that's naughty. You can't just shoot a person in the back. That's just rude. Because I've now got the game audio going directly into my ear, I can really, really hear the pops of the guns. Boom. Right, now we've got to rescue Pegarino. 
which hopefully, hopefully we can do in one shot. I need to uh, get my, not my sniper rifle, my, not my sniper rifle. Well, that's not, well, it wasn't my sniper rifle. Shit, I don't have much, uh, Uh, much more left to go. Much more uh, machine gun bullets to go. Damn. I tell you what, let's get the sniper rifle out again. Because I can take them down for... Uh, take them down from a distance. As long as they shoot at me, then... I'll be able to see where they are immediately. Yeah, that was a really bad shot. Um, not quite sure what that guy's doing, so... Right. Anyone else? I know there's a couple more somewhere. Oh, there's a dude. Oh no, he just fell to the ground. I think, I think, I hope, that's it for the time being. Right, I can switch to my submachine gun. Whoa, hello. I knew I wasn't done. There we go, now I'm done. Well, for now, anyway. Oh, I didn't realise Nico was uh, reloading. Right, let's see if I can take advantage of this situation. Are they both dead? They are, but... The geezer shoot... There he is! I couldn't see where he was. Gets Peguino before he dies, that's not going to be a problem. Cool. So you just go around the side of the building instead. Instead of going through it and having to fight everybody, just go around the side. Boom, there he is. The fucking Pavanos! If the rest of the commission knew they did this! I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers trying to whack me at a sit down! They're trying to make off with my tribute! The fucking nerve! We're gonna ice those fucking Let's stickers. get them! Oh, no, I didn't want to throw a grenade. Alright, let's get these slime ball bastards! People like that can a tie in the bad day! Whatever happened to the honor society? I'm trying to change you know weapon in the game, isn't it? I can't say I know! I didn't even get a fucking combo! This is a declaration of war! The Pagarinos and the Pavanos are hitting the mattresses! That just makes it sound like you're going to sleep. I saw it through the scope of that rifle. We're gonna get that gift back and make this crew pay for their disrespect! Well... Come on! Don't let this prick dry! Going in a different direction, it seems. Oh dear, this could be bad. God, I'm driving on the fucking grass. That's alright, it's fine. I managed to catch up with them, somehow. Sorry, mate. Sorry, Geezer, you just weren't quick enough. Yeah. Hey, Slav! Shut up. Shut up. No, 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 I know, it's fine. Just a forklift truck in the ways. You better not lose them. You better not. I'm not gonna lose them, it's fine. We better not be getting whacked. There we go. We. Oh shit! 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 Let's just kind of reverse. Oh, you gotta go, Nico. I can't move with this bullet. My God. Oh, that was close. It'd be nice if this wall loaded its texture. Need to make sure he dies. Okay, I think he's dead enough. Whoa, hello, mate. Didn't realise you were there. Right, hopefully, it's just the guy that we need to chase now, who's uh, one level above. There's the steps. 
No, there's another geezer trying to shoot at me. Ah! <laughs> when I was playing, um, <clears throat> when I was doing my, uh, my, my normal playthrough, it took me, like, a good couple of minutes running around in bloody circles trying to catch that guy. So I'm kind of fortunate and grateful that it only took me, like, a few seconds just to get to him now. Okay, I need to uh, <laughs> go back up the steps. Kind of got a little ahead of myself. Do -do -do -do. Shit, your nice suit will get all dirty. Pieces of brains. It's all messy. Yeah. Take me back to my place. It's all right though, Eric. It's nothing a cheeseburger wouldn't help. Uh, wouldn't cure. <laughs> Somehow. I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. The Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alden, eh? Even if it don't in Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seem like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position. Either because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos, having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! It's alright, it's fine. The Irish are a fine people. Especially if my trip to Dublin was anything to go by. You're right, Rob, how you doing, mate? I still didn't get one girl's phone number. <laughs> alright, we should be close to his house now. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I'll put the radio back on. That's fine. was losing days. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Yes, some people certainly were losing their heads literally, especially with the bullets that were going straight into them. Boom. Congratulatory music. In fact, thank about. There we go. Let's just turn up the radio just a, a little bit more, because why not? There we go. I think you can open Pegorino's garage. I mean, there's nothing in here, but you can still do it nonetheless. Right, let's see. We've got an assassin mission, or we have the uh, Bernie Crane mission that we originally... Um, failed on. In fact, what I want to do, before I do anything else, I do need to go get some armour. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the armour shop, and then we'll come back to Jimmy Pegorino. We gonna have to get nasty? Come see me. Da, boss. Right here. Thought that was a police car, then. Taxi man. Take me to the nearest armoury. Wow, I knew it. 
Why does everything taste like chicken? It sounded like she was eating an apple as well. Oh, there we go, Alderney. You'd think I'd actually pay attention to the main areas of the game to know which is the closest gun shop. Clearly not. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know. Rob comes into my stream, and then he has to leave again. Oh! Feel free to browse, buddy, but don't try and. Oh, what's Mallory want? Hey, Nico. What's up, Mallory? Roman hasn't spoken to you about anything, has he? Nothing about maybe asking me to marry him. I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thanks. And hey, Roman and I decided to be honest with each other last night. He told me about Vlad. He did? Yeah. Thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He has such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. Yeah, Roman killed Vlad. Hmm, yeah, we'll just let her believe that. <laughs> stay safe, stay second amendment. Hmm. Oh, where's the taxi guy? Oh, he's over there. Don't be too offended. I I'm, I'm, I'm wasn't offended, Rob. <laughs> I was just fucking about. <laughs> right, let's go see Mr. Pegarino. See what more work he's got for us. I was actually quite pleased that that mission did not uh, take me as long as it could have done. There we are. Just had to quickly readjust the um, the earphone. Uh, no, John. Uh, hang on, my fucking. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jeff. Uh, Jeffrey's. Um, he's gone now. He had to depart earlier. A time for an Assassin Creed mission. Not quite, Eric. Not quite. Although I'll do one after this one if you want. Hey. Uh, who you waving at? Feds, I think. They always drive past at this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to slay him. <laughs> Jackasses. All of them. All of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who'll really miss him. You can tell she doesn't approve. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Is Mr. Pegorino around? Oh, uh, uh, sure. I I'll get him. What? Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. I love Jimmy. He's brilliant. So, listen, we got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that, that you're meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an alternate bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them. And follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard. Gabish? Yeah, Gabish. So hard that it disrupts the contents of my desk. Alright, let's steal one of Peg's cars. She does have a point, to be fair. Yeah. Ooh, that looks like a nice car. I'll have that. Oh, right into the fucking garage door. <laughs> right, okay, let's get going. In fact, in fact hang about, let's work out how far away it is. Do -do -do -do. It's a bit of a distance, so let's get a taxi. As per usual, 
go keep the stream. Well, go keep it going. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So let's just carry on, on our way, and then we'll um. Oh, there's a taxi. I was gonna say, you know, we'll keep going the route, and then we'll get a taxi once we catch up. Once we uh find one. Yeah, get out, you green haired. I'm not even sure that was green hair. So, uh... <laughs> not the Super Mario Goombas, no. Play, uh, or they're just, Dang. to be honest, probably just as bad. You know, they're the lowest of the um, lowest of uh, Bowser's henchmen. So, can we go in here? I don't think we can, but oh, that's a shame. You should tell if you can go through a door or not, depending on uh, how high res the door is. You will need a vehicle. Of course I do. Luckily there's one here. That I need to steal. Ooh. Yeah, Mike must be doing something. He could be having an early night, you never know. Could be on holiday. Actually, isn't Mike meant to be on holiday at some point this time? Am I thinking of like later on down the line? Oh god, this mission. I think that guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet. Well, I'm not overly keen on this music, so let's go to Liberty City Hardcore. Right, chase them. Don't kill them. Uh, nope. We know the truth. Not that you can hear much of it over the goddamn um, traffic and the crashing and the metal clang against metal and the horns. Alright, there we go, right. I just want to get control of my car. It's not much to ask. How did he manage to get through the fence without making a hole in it. Is he kangaroo suspension or something? That would be pretty cool. The War on Terror. Certainly was a popular topic back in the day, wasn't it? Technically still is nowadays, anyway. Yep, there we go. <coughs> Wipe them all out. Right, let's do a bit of cheekiness and let's use a rocket launcher. Kaboom! So that's probably going to attract the attention of the police, but... Yep, there we go, straight away. Oh, sweet! Did not expect to get that done so quickly. Last time I did this mission, all the cars blew up. But everyone survived. Somehow. I don't know how. They did. And the police got the attention. And I had to try and complete this mission with the police <laughs> on my ass. It wasn't easy, I'm telling you that much. Francis, get me out of this mess, mate. Oh, actually, I might not need you. Work. There we go. Cunning stunt coming up. Ah, oh, can I make it to the other island? I'm, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I've never felt so alive. Right in the drink. And I'm still not clear from the police. Okay, there we go. Uh, right, what are you guys saying? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Burger King at McDonald's. Uh, time for another shootout with a rocket launcher. 
Nico uses rocket launcher. It's super effective. It certainly was more effect, actually as effective as, as I expected it to. But uh, with uh, my experience from the uh, last time that I played that mission, yeah, I uh, kind of wasn't expecting it this time round. There we go. Dun 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 dun. Right. Let's get out of the water. And let's work out what part of Liberty City we're actually in. Oh, hi, girl. I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Teach him that all that is Tagarino turf. Is there a nice little hall in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste of it. And something up the ladder. That's how us Italians been doing things for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. Hi, hey, baby. How you doing? Hey! Hello! Hey! So well, I didn't do anything. Don't know what you're on about. Right, work, let's work out what part of the fucking city I'm on. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to be back on the, um, uh, back in um, Algonquin. I'll check out Boma's tweet when uh, uh, Boma's stream when um, I finish on my one. Nico blows them away. Can I have eight? Two number nines. Uh, number nine. What are you on about, Rob? You sound like you're ordering from a Chinese restaurant, but is that what you had to go away for? You, have you just ordered Chinese food? No! Oh! You can see my blood on the bloody bumper. Oh, hello. Malik, I want to introduce you to John Bravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. Holy shit! What the hell? Maybe I should get out of the road. Fuck it, hell. Who'd have thought dual carriageways would be this dangerous? Is the United Liberty Pad going to phone me again? Shit! Uh, GTA San Andreas restaurant. Uh, re restaurant. Fucking, I've got food on the brain. Reference. Oh, okay. I haven't played enough of um, San Andreas to get that reference. Sorry. In fact, I've only played the first couple of missions. Well, Nicky, you and the Peg is getting close, I think. He's got work. He I shouldn't be walking on a dual carriageway. Yeah. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. I don't buy into that tribute stuff. This work has many disadvantages, but uh, hey, at least it's tax free. Don't you forget about me. The, what the hell? Can cars just stop running me over? For crying out, especially a taxi. He's still a Where you want to go? Oh, I, l I love the Laszlo show. That wise cracking doofus, Laszlo. Need some food. Oh, we've got the news. I want to go to Dorpass Street. On our way. Don't play with the window. Many are dead after another shocking shootout at the auto erotic car showroom in West Alderney. Some of the bodies have been identified as associates of the Pavano crime family. We have taken a number of possible suspects into custody. They're currently being extracted to one of our offshore questioning centers. You'll know this incident was an act of terror when we have their confessions. By this attack is part of a pattern that is concerning police who suspect a mob war is raging within Liberty City's five families and may be involving other crime families as well, including the Alderney mob, who crime experts claim have long sought to be included at the top table of crime in this city. Several recent shootouts and executions have led some to call this a city in the midst of a mob reign of terror. But some residents say they like the Mafia. The Mafia is so cute on those TV yeah, shows. And I wish Greg you and Tony really was still on the radio. the struggles they go through. I mean, they're just like us. They got bills to pay, a cheating husband who is... They got bills to pay, they got mouths to feed. Ain't nothing in this world for free. Sorry, I'll get out of here, actually. 
Sorry, Patrick. I'll uh, answer you in a bit. Whatever. Get out of here. Then. What I wanted was a burger. Hi. Welcome to Burger Shot. How can I help you? There. Got myself some food, listened to the news, heard about my exploits on the radio. Now let's go do an assassination mission. Please, guys, let's be honest, I did say I would, so. Hello, over here! I'm only seven feet away from you! Hello, can you see me? <laughs> I'm running out of drink. <laughs> Let's see, we got 25 minutes to go, or thereabouts. Let's throw ourselves back to Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2. Alright, I think we may have enough time to do this mission, and then that'll probably be it. Uh, hello. I'm a friend of Fields. Nico Bellic. I know who you are, brother. You're after some money. Just like everyone else in this city. What's your deal? People come to me when they need something handled. I come to people like you when I need someone handled. Do you get me, brother? I get you. When you've taken care of something for me, call me on my cellular, but no specifics. Phil's good at that. I only talk business on a hard line. You need to eliminate three targets at the refinery in the Actor Industrial Park. Super duper. That's always good to know. Let's see, I've already got some armor, but you know, free armor, more armor. That's all right. It's fine. There we go. Right. Let's get ourselves sorted. Oh, thank goodness that wasn't barbed wire. Right. Let's find out where it is. It's a bit of a distance away, so let's get ourselves, as per usual, a taxi. Oh, fine. Fuck you, then. <laughs> Unless he was actually trying to go to that taxi, and the other taxi was in the way. Which I think probably was the case, actually. Uh, John, what game is uh, Bowman E playing at the minute? Take out all the subjects, uh, targets, and their body. Uh, whoa, and I don't want to get run over again. Super duper Cooper Trooper. <laughs> I do sometimes say super duper Storm Trooper, but usually it's super duper Cooper Trooper. Oh, no. Nico definitely won't jump over that fence because that is barbed wire. I need to find a way of getting in. That'll do. Oh, this might be a good vantage point, actually. Right, let's use my scope. Let's have a look, see if I can actually spot anybody from here. Doesn't look like it, no. Who's that guy? And who the fuck are you talking to? What's on your clipboard, mate? Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just a guy with a sniper rifle aiming it straight at you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, oh, never mind. <laughs> I can think of better ways of spending your time. You run away from me. Right in the stomach. Is there anyone else I can spot from here? Well, anyone else who isn't running anyway. <laughs> to your rocket launcher. I don't think using a rocket launcher is a good idea. But I should be able to be over, should be able to climb over the fence. There we go. Okay, right now I think we have better, uh, better views. Anyone else? Over here, maybe? Nope. Up there? Nope. But that's okay.
Alright, let's... That's not an... No, that's not an actual climbable ladder. Uh, diddly do, diddly do. Fucking hell, that was brave. Did you guys see that? Oh, there's someone on the same level. And he's headed my way. Alright, we'll deal with him in a minute. Assuming that we can. I'm sorry, but that guy must know I'm there. Oh, there's two people in towards me. Ooh, alright, okay then. Wait for it, wait for it, let's not... Let's just say, let's not rush into it. I can feel it. There we go. Oh, you had to blinking well reload at that point, Nico. I know there's him there, so... Are they wearing identical suits? Oh, didn't mean to shoot him. <laughs> said, no, said no one ever in this game. A little late for that, I'm afraid, Nico. <laughs> you were rather insistent that you kill them. Let's see. Uh, I can't see from there. Bloody pipes in the way. Ooh, someone's getting a bit fruit. Oh, okay. If they can see me, then I can definitely should be able to see them. There they are. One, two, done and dusted. My end of this deal is complete. The client will be pleased to hear that. If you want more files, you can reach me. Outside line. And I'll do just that. Thank you very much, Mr. Fixer. Right. Let's see now. <coughs> got a uh, Jimmy Pegarino mission to do. And we still got a... Uh, oh, wait, that's not Jimmy Pegarino. That's Phil Bell. Let's see, that's his next mission. Have I done that mission already? I think I have. So, yeah. Let's do this one more Phil Bell mission. And then we'll call it a stream. Uh, I can't get out. Uh, like Queen said, another one bites the dust. Indeedly do. No one can withstand the wrought power of Nico Bellic. And right now, Nico Bellic's having a hard time trying to find. He's trying to find his way out. Bellic. Right there we are. Now we can see. Now we can hear the conversation proper without getting run over. I'm already working for a Mafia family. They're scum. The Pegorino? They're not a family. Roselli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him you were sent by a mutual friend. He's expecting you. Do, 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 do. Taxi, thank you, motherfucker. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm up for a Skype sesh after, after the stream. I need to go to the armor shop. Sorry, gun shop. We are on, uh, we're still on, yeah, we're still in Alderney. Oh, excuse me. Like Superman, but with guns. Yes. Pow, pow, pow. We sell quality weapons and we know how to use them. Yep, so do I. So shut your mouth. Finally official. Since the moment I met Mallory, I knew that she was the only woman for me. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. 
There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I don't invite her to the wedding. You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin. I actually hate when people leave shopping trolleys just lying around in the middle of the street. It's like, why? Why do I do that? Oh. <clears throat> That's just me, so... Right. I know I was going to say we're going to do a Phil Bell mission, but we're going to go quickly see um, uh, Mr. Gambetti, because I actually did one of his missions um, uh, just before I started the stream, so my memory of it is still quite fresh. So let's uh, let's grab a car. We'll grab a taxi. Oh, no, there's a taxi. And then we'll call we'll call that a stream. Hey, thanks, stag do for Roman. Hey, where you going, man? <coughs> yeah, we're getting quite close to the end of the game now. It's going to be quite sad. You got it. We're going to hospital. Oh, I don't like hospitals. Oh, we've run out of Haribo. Fuck. Oh, wait a minute. No, I haven't. I've got one more left. I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Did I shoot two people that look just like that guy in the moustache? So you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my... Dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what you Spare you're... me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> ah, people are so damn vain. Some people. <clears throat> all people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I, I know, it's a terrible tragedy. <laughs> His hair is so shiny. But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus line, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding. Switzerland or some shit. <laughs> okay. Good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping the story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <laughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. Go get the pretty nurse for me. 
Thank you very much, Eric. That does mean a lot. I do my best when I play uh, Grand Theft Auto, or at least I try and do my best anyway. Right, let's go to Grand Eastern Terminal. Excuse me, Mr. Taxi! Yellow car! Halt! Thank you! <laughs> I made him drop his coffee. His five dollar coffee. Where can I take you? So, uh... <clears throat> right, last mission of the game. Hopefully it should take me around about ten minutes to finish. Let's see, I've got enough health, I've got enough armor. Hopefully, got enough ammo. Let me just double check for sure. Yeah, I'd say I'm good to go. Right. Hey, you! You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. Alright? Sure. As long as it's not a speech with the yes, we can. <laughs> Could be worse, it could make America great again. Alright, let's get going. John, how are you? Got to obey traffic laws. Of course. Well, I'm coming to Boring. See you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, I'm going to bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is going to be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Hmm. Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm going to go and move the barriers. Excuse me. It's the geezer from the hospital. <laughs> and there's another ge There's like three several coffees of like the same geezer. Oh, that was nasty. I can't hear you past all the gunfire, man. Oh my god, look at his face. Look at his face. There we go. It's like he had his teeth exposed for a second. He looked like the, uh, the, uh, the Assassin's Creed faceless ones. Yeah, they get back into cover. Excuse me, good sir. Right, we've got a couple of guy geezers on the roof. Let's try and sort them out. Who shot him? Okay, but I'm not complaining. Right, let me just change guns quickly. Yes, goodbye to you too. Oh god, there's more coming. Hide! <laughs> Hiding in the alleyway! Mind you, he's hiding in a doorway, so... I'm just gonna sit right back up, it's fine. Oh really, is it? I'm not too sure about that. And he's just firing at the blue tarpaulin, so he's an idiot. Be like that guy that tried to take, uh, take, try to take cover behind a, uh, try to take cover behind a pallet truck. I think I shot him in the head. Yeah, we're good. Right, <clears throat> now we've got these two geezers here up on the roof. So let's just try and make sure they don't spot me. Oh look, the Get Life building. Cool. And uh, one more. There you are. Boom. It's an ugly city, I, guess. I don't know why this bus is parked here, but I'm all really glad that it is. It looks like these men really want you dead, Mr. Jefferson.
Right. <coughs> Let's use the bus to our advantage. Okay, no, that didn't work. Yeah! Got him! Motherfucker! I actually found the bus to be really, really helpful. So I don't have to worry about, you know, smashing into traffic too much. And I can just get away easily enough. But the bus can pick up some incredible speed. Doesn't sound like I'm going to get away this time, though. As long as I don't hit a police car. As long as I get away from my grenade. There's always going to be some sort of um, thing, uh, some sort of compromise whenever I do a playthrough. There we go. Oh no, he's right behind me. <laughs> Good thing about being in a bus, I suppose, is that I'm not going to be uh, attacked so easily. I was just about to say, oh, I think we're okay, but now I've just crashed into that bloody... Well, that got rid of one. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man, now they're all after me. Oh, we're not going to make it. We have a situation. I see flames. He's in my Oh, Bobby Jefferson is dead. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, <laughs> Perhaps not the best end to the stream, but unfortunately, that is uh, that is where I'm going to have to where I'm going to have to leave it. So hopefully, in the next stream, I may be in a situation where I can probably get away from the um, get away from the, the 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 chasers in the next time. Perhaps with a more efficient vehicle, and perhaps with some more efficient ammo or something to that effect. So uh, yeah, uh, guys, uh, thank you very much for turning up. Always appreciate it. And until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you again next week yes unless i plan something for uh, in the middle because i don't have work this week so i might be able to i, I might do a f another fun stream uh, at some point in the week but i'll send out a tweet um in advance like i normally do so uh, yeah until next time take care of yourselves and thanks for watching